your uh, socioeconomic plan, okay? The socioeconomic plan is um, when when you look it up online, when you try to Google the word socioeconomic, okay, and uh, you try to define it, socioeconomic means or it is used to describe the difference between um, the groups of people relating to their social class and their financial situation. This particular definition is coming from Cambridge. Cambridge. So um, when we look it up online, marami at marami talaga kayo makukuha ng mga definitions that would describe what social economic impact is about, what social economic in business is about, what social economic um, impact is in the entire Philippines is about. So dito, titingnan natin to in an aspect or in a perspective of a business. So kung kayo ay uh, mga strategist ng mga business owners that you are partnering with, since you have a partner enterprise, you need to look at this as a business perspective. So, social economic simply refers to the society relating the economic factors. Now, what do we mean by the economic factors? Now, economic factors may be um, your laws, your rules, regulations, policies, government activities, taxes, employment rates, um, interest rates, those are part of the economic factors. Now, paano ngayon naapektuhan yung overall na society because of these economic factors? I know that in your um, eco classes, you've already um, siguro na-dissect nyo na ng maigi kung ano yung meaning, kung ano yung mga effects, ano yung mga kalalagyan ng mga tao when it comes to these economic factors. Now, in business, okay, business is a major driver when it comes to social economic impact, okay. But at the same time, these social economic impact is a major predictor of business success, especially in the long run, okay. I will be showing you a couple of examples later on, um, kung ano ano yung mga businesses na merong mga social economic impact, uh, may mga social impact na ginagawa, and kung paano sila na apektuhan as an enterprise. Now, moving on from this, why do we need to measure the socioeconomic impact? Okay? Bakit ba kailangan tignan natin kung ano yung saysay niya? Kung bakit, bakit natin kailangan i-measure out or i-quantify kung ano yung mga dahilan na to? Okay? Now, we need to measure out in order for us to reduce risk, enhance our brand, and ultimately create new business opportunities. Okay? This is the reason as to why we need to measure the socioeconomic impact of our business to the society. Okay? Again, we need to measure out the socioeconomic impact in order for us to reduce risk, enhance our brand, and overall capture all opportunities that are being presented. So from the re uh, reduction of risk, okay, cost and risk, up until makakapture kayo ng magagandang opportunities for your business, kailangan i-measure nyo, i-quantify nyo ano yung mga epekto. Ano ngayon yung nagiging epekto ninyo when it comes to the community, to the policies, the government, rules and regulations around your business. Kapag mas malaki yung enterprise ninyo, okay? mas malaki din yung nagiging effect niya. Okay? Mas malaki din yung chances of impact when it comes to the overall community. Okay? Mas maliit na negosyo, probably hindi nyo pa masyado makikita yung impact niyan probably um yung pag simpleng pagbabayad niya ng taxes okay um dahil under kayo or uh, registered kayo under BIR those are part of the impact na ginagawa niyo when it comes to or contributions na ginagawa niyo para mas mapagaan o mapaganda yung ekonomiya okay so why do we need to understand social economic impact okay we also need to look at um social economic status okay now what is social economic status Socioeconomic status uh, defines um, the social standing okay, or, the, um, or the class of an individual or a group and then relating it by um, measuring the combination of the education, um, the income, the occupancy rate, uh, then sa specific na lugar. So kapag mas maganda yung takbo ng ekonomiya sa isang lugar, probably mas mataas yung employment rate, mas mataas yung... Um, yung taxes na nakukuha, mas dumadami, nag-circulate na pera. Mas marami ngayon nagagawa yung government para sa atin. Okay? So, how do we contribute in the overall good of the economy? So, 
these are part of the things na kailangan natin yung leisure out. So, we need to obtain or maintain license to operate. Second is uh, improve the business enabling environment. Third would be uh, strengthen the value chain. And the fourth one would be fuel product and service innovation that is under capturing opportunities. Okay. Now, one by one, kailangan natin siyang intindihin kung paano ngayon natin siya or paano siya nakaka-affect dun sa overall um, uh, economy or paano kayo na-apektuhan or paano natin na-apektuhan yung mga communities na kinagagalawan ng mismo negosyo. Okay. First one is obtaining or maintaining license to operate. Now, part of the key stakeholders that we have right here are the community and the government authorities. Bakit sila yung key stakeholders? Okay. When we talk about stakeholders, okay, that is anyone that is affected with that particular decision, with that particular action. Sila yung stakeholders. Sila yung makikinabang, sila maapektuhan, sila yung pwedeng um, masangga, madamage, in uh, if anything happens. So, part of your key stakeholders is, of course, the community and kung kanino kayo hihingi ng permiso. That's from the government. Okay. Now, measuring your socioeconomic impact can help companies show to the community, show to the government, to the authorities, and other stakeholders that their activities create net benefit. Benefits yung nakukuha nila when they allow your business to operate. Okay? creates net benefit for the economies and societies in which they operate. So, mas matimbang yung benefits na nakukuha nila when they allow you to operate kesa dun sa mga risks, dun sa mga damages when they um, allow you to operate. Okay? So, it kind of um, mitigates the risk of negative publicity, um, protest, and decline um, government support for current and future operations. That is why um, the government itself has this um, job okay, na sa kanila manggagaling yung yes or no, yung approval. Okay? Kung papayagan ba nila na ang, let's say, isang mining company, isang mining company magmina sa lugar na yan, sino-sino yung maaapektuhan niya? May mga residents ba dyan? Meron bang mga forestry na maaapektuhan? Meron bang mga land na kailangan protektahan? Uh, meron ba mga uh, imimina dyan na dapat napupunta sa gobyerno o napupunta sa mga tao kaysa doon sa malalaking kumpanya. Those are part of the things that the government itself needs to decide. And kaya tayo namang mga negosyante, tayo mga nagnenegosyo, we need to ask for permission. Okay? For you to legally operate in that particular area and um, payagan ka na makapag-operate at matuloy lahat ng ginagawa mo dun na business activities, kailangan meron kang mga uh, nararapat na, kap na kapapelan. Okay? Yung mga papeles na kakailanganin mo, licensing na kakailanganin mo, dapat kompleto ka. Okay? Now, I have provided here some um, guide questions or questions to founder so that you could further understand um, kung ano man yung mga ilalagay nyo pa dito sa ating socioeconomic plan. Okay? First one, are we fulfilling our commitments and the expectations of our of our stakeholders have of us? So, um, lahat ba ng mga pangako ninyo ay hindi napapako? Lahat ba ng sinabi ninyo na gagawin ninyo, uh, gagawin nyo talaga? Meron ba mga maaapektuhan kapag uh, dun sa mga desisyon na gagawin ninyo when it comes to your business activities? Um, you have to make sure also that you are honest as a business um, kapag kayo ay nag apply para sa isang lisensya. Okay? Pag sinabi mo that, um, let's say, pag sinabing liquor ban, kailangan lahat talaga ng mga alak na binibenta nyo ay uh, hindi, hindi nyo ibinibenta sa kasalukuyan kasi may liquor ban. Okay? And because you have this license, kahit na may license ka to operate and distribute um, liquor, ay hindi mo gagawin dahil may liquor ban. So, those are part of the regulations and commitments na meron kayo. At the same time, yun yung mga promises na ginagawa ninyo in order for you to protect your business and to protect the community also. Right? By following the rules and regulations. Now, second one is, is there a gap between our impact and our stakeholders' perception? So, whatever you say that you're going to do, you must do it. Um, kailangan, uh, you have to make sure that if you promise to these people, for example, 
you were able to provide livelihood. And sinabi mo sa kanila na um, payagan nyo lang na mag-operate yung negosyo namin. And um, bibigyan namin kayo ng kabuhayan. Bibigyan namin kayo ng um, magagandang sahod. Bibigyan namin kayo ng nararapat na schedule para dyan sa mga trabaho ninyo. Kapag sinabi mo yun, people will expect. Hi, people will expect. And uh, syempre, kaya i-rave nila na, sige, uh, payagan natin sila na makapag-operate dito. Uh, payagan natin sila na ganito yung gawin nila. Kasi yun yung promises that you have for those people. Okay? Third one is, to what extent do our activities create social risk or conflict? Okay? Um, ano ba yung mga activities natin na um, kapag tinuloy natin, eh, um, pwedeng mapahamak yung mga tao na nandun sa mismong area at the same time, um, pwede rin maprotektahan yung mga tao na nandun sa mismong area. So, these are part of the things that the government, the one who is giving out the license, must also understand na pag pinayagan kita, ito yung mga gagawin mo. Okay? Uh, ito yung mga kapalit dito sa lisensya na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Kapag uh, ginawa yun ng mismong government official, he or she is liable uh, dun sa mga ginagawa at gagawin ng mismong negosyo na yun. So, even you, um, with the enterprise that you have, yung mga partners ninyo, na mga, kahit maliliit na mga enterprise, meron at meron yung mga commitments na ginagawa. Um, yung simpleng pagbabayad ng taxes nila ng tama, yung pagde-declare ng, ng taxes nila ng tama, pagbibigay ng resibo. Okay? Uh, isa yun dun sa mga commitment. Kaya sila binigyan ng permiso para gamitin at para makapag-operate because your promise now to the government is this and that. Okay? Next. Next is um, improve the business enabling environment. Now, for the key stakeholders, the key stakeholders right here are the policymakers. Okay? Yung mismo gumagawa ng mga batas. Why? Measuring socioeconomic impact can help companies show policymakers what and how they contribute to the public policy goals through profitable business activities. It is through our businesses, our enterprises, that we also contribute to the overall success of our environment. Now, how and uh, uh, what are the things that we are doing to contribute to that one? Yun ngayon yung sinasagot ng mga enterprises natin. Okay? Now, questions to ponder. To what extent are our business activities contributing to local, national, or international public policy goals? Okay? Kaya meron tayong mga negosyo na kahit um, local lang sila Okay, local businesses, maliliit na negosyo, pinoprotektahan ng mga tao. There's this association, um, Go Negosyo. Okay? Go Negosyo has been there for quite some time and it's been protecting um, MSMEs uh, for quite some time. Dahil alam nila na maraming mga support, financial support na kakailanganin para makapagtayo sila ng mga negosyo, para makapag-expand, para mas uh, uh, maging magaan yung operations nila for them. So, this particular group of people, yung Go Negosyo, isa sila ngayon dun sa mga tinatakbukan para naman makapaghanda uh, sila ng maayos para mas makapag-contribute sila in the overall good of the country. At the same time, we have this um, law called uh, BMBA law. Okay? You can look it up if you want. Um, that uh, gives um, or waves, okay? When you wave yung mga taxes na binabayaran ng, ng mga small enterprises, it's for micro to small enterprises, I believe, um, yung pwede mag-apply dito. And uh, kapag ikaw ay nabigyan ng permit for BMBE, you are not entitled to give out um, SSS, uh, pag-ibig, PhilHealth, uh, para dun sa mga empleyado mo. So, Kung ano lang yung sahod nila, yun lang yung binibigay mo kasi nga naka-BMB ka. So you are being protected na since I am a small enterprise, ito pa lang yung kaya kong ibigay, ito pa lang yung pwede kong i-allot uh, para sa mga taong to. Um, yun lang din yung um, ibibigay ko muna sa kanila. So you have the the right to waive yung um, yung mga benefits na yun para sa mga taong yan. Okay? So um, another one would be what negative impact should we be aware of? Okay? 
again, you need to be completely honest when it comes to your operations and to your activities, all of your business activities. Nagiging illegal lang isang bagay kapag hindi yan declared. Okay? Pag hindi naman yan yung dahilan kung bakit ka pinag-operate dyan, tapos biglang front mo lang pala na isa kang cafe, pero ang totoo ay nagbebenta ka ng kung ano-anong bagay. Mga exotic animals, mga mga uh, paraphernalia, okay? So, you, you need to avoid all of those things, okay? Next is, how are our business activities contributing in the overall good of the community and the society as well, okay? Fourth, or the last one would be, what are the critical levers of uh, of impact, such as procurement, training, or consumption of our products and services? Again, these are um, just some of the questions that you can ponder on or think about para lang magkaroon kayo ng um, deeper understanding lang um, when it comes to the socioeconomic impact of the business na ginagawa ninyo. Because again, may iba-ibang degree kasi. Okay? May iba-ibang degree yan as to how big or the scale of the entire business. So, syempre, kapag mas maliit yung negosyo mo, mas konti lang din yung impact na nagagawa mo when it comes to your environment. Pag mas malaki, mas marami rin yung uh, impact na nagagawa mo. At the same time, um, it could lead to bigger or um, bigger problems, bigger risk para din doon change ng negosyo. Okay? Third one is, of course, again, we are trying to measure out the, the socioeconomic factors or socioeconomic impact in order for us to enhance our brand. Okay? Uh, now, to enhance our brand, we also need to strengthen our value chain. Okay? I think um, I've mentioned naman before kung ano yung importance ng value chain. Your value chain will tell you what are the processes that were involved in your um, business. So, for example, uh, from your supplier hanggang sa makarating yung mismong product na yan, na process mo yung product na yan, up until you were able to throw it to your um, customers, that you were able to transact with, with your customers. Ano yung mga proseso na pinagdaanan nila? Okay? Now, in those processes, every time that you process a certain product, a certain material, okay, value now increases. And since you are trying to strengthen that particular value chain, how is the internal colleagues, suppliers, distributors, the retailers, customers, external partners are affected in your decision? Okay? Kabilang sila dun sa mga pwedeng maapektuhan dahil dun sa mga changes na ginagawa ninyo when it comes to your value chain. Okay? This can help companies predict the loyalty, performance, the stability, and capacity for growth of suppliers, distributors, and retail partners. So, dito nyo measure out if uh, you would be able to expand because um, you have a very good flow when it comes to your um, supply chain. You would be able to understand also kung ano mga kailangan mong palitan, ano mga kailangan mong improve alin dun sa mga process mo could be riskier than the others. Um, ano din yung mga processes in that particular value chain na dapat ina-upgrade mo na, ina-update mo na. So, those are things that uh, you can look into. Okay? Now, questions to ponder. Okay. Do our suppliers have what it takes okay, to attract other big customers, expand production capacity, and achieve economies of scale? Okay. Your goal as an enterprise is to always expand. You want expansion for sure. Pwedeng hindi ngayong taon, pwedeng hindi next year, pwedeng in the next five years, in the next ten years, but somehow you still want to expand. Okay, pwedeng expand in terms ge of geographically, pwedeng ganun. At the same time, pwede rin namang um, expansion when it comes to bigger branches or palalakihin mo yung store mo, um, padadamihin mo yung mga selections mo or menu. Um, that is a form of expansion also. Now, in order for you to do that, you need to understand first, kaya ba? Kaya ba ng inyong suppliers? Kaya ba ng mga um, current suppliers, small future suppliers, and paano maapektuhan ngayon yung production capacity, yung mismong um, processes dun sa mismong negosyo. So, how will that particular decision affect your um, operations that is um, based on your decision? Okay? Second one is, can our retail partners afford to invest, invest in added um, shelf space and inventory? 
since you're looking for expansion, okay, of course, you would need capitalization. Sa kailangan ninyo ng pera. Okay? You would need a lot of cash and you would need the help of your investors. That's why internal colleagues are part of the key stakeholders when it comes to strengthening your value chain. They should be able to understand what are the things that they are paying for. Okay? Para saan at saan napupunta yung ini-invest nila na pera. I'm paying for this much. My stake is, let's say, 10%, 20% of the business. Now, how am I affected as an investor of that particular company? How is um, the, the owner itself um, affected when it comes to the overall capacity of the company? Do you have the money? Do you have the capacity? Do you have um, enough suppliers, distributors, retailers na pwedeng sumalo kapag nag-fail yung first type of expansion na meron ka? Okay? So again, that is uh, focusing on enhancing the brand itself. Okay? That's why we need to measure out the socioeconomic factors or the socioeconomic impact rather. Okay? Last one would be fuel product and service innovation. Okay? Why? Um, kung babalikan natin kanina, we are um, trying to measure out the socioeconomic impact in order for us to um, reduce any form of risk, enhance our brand, and ultimately to create or find new opportunities that are being presented so that we would be able to catch it. Okay? Now, key stakeholders in this situation would be your internal colleagues, your customers, of course, value chain partners, external partners. Okay? Why do we need to measure this part? Okay? Measuring your socioeconomic impact can help companies understand the type of needs, the aspirations, the resources, and incentives of their customers. Now, this enables them to develop winning new products and service and improve existing offerings. Okay? Kapag mali yung mismo target market mo, mahihirapan kang i-identify kung tama ba yung product na in-offer mo sa kanila. Okay? And since you wanted to expand um, dun sa kaninang slide, Okay. You wanted to expand and you want growth for you, for your company. You want to help more people. You want to tap or reach more people with your business. In order for you to do that, you need to um, identify, am I serving uh, the right product for my uh, market? Tama ba yung market ko? Tama ba yung produkto na pinipresent ko sa kanila? Is this something that they need? Is this something that they want? Is this something that we can consistently offer? Now, since I've already identified that one, my job now is to find new opportunities, to find new products, new services that I could offer to my market in order for me to fully um, engage with them. Okay? So how can we create demand for a product or a service we now uh, we know would add value? Okay? So, paano natin yun gagawin? How can we create that particular demand? How can we encourage people, other people, uh, to try out the product that we are presenting sa kanila? At the same time, where do we need help from um, external stakeholders like government, donors, civil society groups? Kanina tayo hihingi ng tulong, okay? In order for us to create that particular demand, okay? Um, ultimately, it's all about um, us getting the right opportunities for our business. And um, for us, um, again, yung socioeconomic impact could benefit the business and could also benefit the community or yung society na kinagagalawan niya. So uh, kung gusto mo ng win-win situation, you have to make sure that everything is already sustainable um, to begin with. Now, Social economic plan would be um, the part of your business plan that discusses in detail the benefits okay, to be derived from the business. What are the things that they are looking for when you start discussing your business plan? Ano ba yung mga benefits na makukuha nila? Ano ba yung beneficio? When they allow you to operate in that area, how will it benefit us? Okay, paano, bum, paano magiging beneficial siya for, for the people that is residing in that particular area? Okay, it highlights all the contributions of the business to the economy, society, and community, okay, where it will operate. Again, ultimately, it's our job to um, provide the needs and the wants of people. 
But if we could give more and create more impact with the type of business that we are doing, okay? pwedeng hindi lang dun sa local area na yun, pwedeng hindi lang dun sa community na yun, nag, na nagkakaroon tayo ng effect, but we could also have an effect outside of that or even outside of the country. Now, I will be giving you a couple of examples uh, later on kung ano, ano yung mga businesses, existing businesses that are already, already have um, different social uh, implications and economic implications. Okay? Now, Kasi when we talk about um, social economic plan, there are two things or two categories na talagang tinitignan natin. First one is, what is the social implication? Okay? Paano tayo maapektuhan sa society and yung mga social problems na sinosolve of that particular um, business or that particular enterprise? At the same time, we also need to look at this economic implications. Okay? Paano ngayon maapektuhan ng business yung overall growth of the uh, the economy? Growth or um, nakakadagdag o bawas ba siya sa ikabubuti o ikasasama ng ekonomiya ng bansa? Okay? So, first one is looking at social implications. When we look at social um, implications, this part identifies the social contributions of the proposed business. Or in your case, it um, uh, it simply discusses the contributions or social contributions of the business, of the existing enterprise na meron na kayo. Okay? So it enumerates the ways by which the proposed business is expected to con contribute to the society and immediate community. So what do I mean by this one? So there are a lot of social problems. Okay? Marami tayong social problems. Uh, dito sa Pilipinas, we have poverty, unemployment, hunger. These are part of our social problems. Now, how are we trying to solve this through the businesses na ginagawa natin? Okay? Not all businesses are um, not all businesses are social enterprise. Okay? Hindi lahat ng negosyo ay ang pinaka-focus nila ay um, magkaroon talaga ng malaking social impact when it comes to their community or their society. But, okay, as a business, meron pa rin tayong obligasyon sa mga tao na um, kailangan may natutulungan talaga tayo with the help of our businesses. Okay? The goal of entrepreneurs is um, to help others with our business. It's not just about earning money, but it's about earning money and at the same time, helping improve the lives of the others. Okay? Now, with social implications, you simply need to identify what are the business activities na ginagawa ninyo, key activities na ginagawa na ninyo, existing, okay, para dun sa mga businesses, and how can you tweak it? Okay? Paano nyo kaya mapapalitan? Paano nyo may improve? Paano natin ma-justify? And paano natin mas mapapabuti overall yung mga social impact na meron tayo when it comes to our businesses? Okay. So, one I have right here is, have you considered where your coffee, your chocolates, your clothing, or other forms of products, saan sila nang galing, paano sila na source, and sino yung gumawa? Doon sa mga bagay na yan. Okay? So, these are part of the questions na tinatanong natin sa malalaking kumpanya. And once we realize na parang uh, mura pala yung mga products na binibenta niya dahil pala, um, underage yung mga or child labor pala yung meron sila. Okay? Or they are um, employing people at a very cheap price na um, underpaid yung mga tao na binibilhan nila ng mga supplies or yung mga employment na meron sila. Now, how will that affect the social impact okay, um, of that particular business? You as the business uh, owners or the business enterprise, yung mga partner ninyo, okay? A lot of them would probably think as um, businessmen and women, okay? And wala namang masama doon kung ganun sila mag -isip. But the thing is, um, a lot of them, okay, doesn't understand talaga kung paano nagsusource. For example, coffee, okay? In the coffee industry, um, marami yung nagbibenta ng sagada. Okay, sagada beans, and they call it, they often call it sagada. But the thing is, okay, um, there are only few farmers, okay? 
sobrang konti na lang yung mga tao that actually um, create beans, okay, or yung mga coffee beans, nagsusource yung mga coffee beans uh, from Sagada itself. Because um, growing it takes time, okay, um, marami talaga yung mga, uh, yung, yung pag-roast niya, yung pag-aalaga ng mismong coffee bean niya, matagal talaga. And for a lot of um, coffee junkies, Hey, um, na talagang mahilig sa kape, na, na, na passionate sa, sa coffee industry. Hey, marami silang mga questions as to why does people keep on selling Sagada beans? Hey, um, bakit ba ang dami-dami nagbebenta ng mga ganyang beans? Eh, hindi naman hindi naman siya um, at par with the, with the type of supplies lang na kayang i-provide. Marami sa mga land ng, um, sa may Sagada area na nakuha na ng malalaking mga farmers, okay, uh, it was taken away from the farmers, the local farmers itself, at kinuha na ng mas malalaking mga kumpanya dahil nga may malaking demand para dito. Okay, now, um, nawala ng mga trabaho yung mga taong to, and that is part of um, the social implications. That's why a lot of um, people yung nagko-coffee crawl, yung tawag doon, okay, uh, na nagtatry out ng iba't ibang mga kape, We don't uh, believe or we don't believe if um, the tag or um, the beans itself would be called Sagata beans because it's quite impossible to have it. Okay? Um, sobrang imposible na meron ka na Sagata beans. Probably um, galing lang siya sa may Sagata area pero hindi talaga siya Sagata beans. But um, still, a lot of people look forward for it and uh, bumibili pa rin. So, yun, isa yun din sa mga social impact na titignan natin. Now, at the same time, how do you source it? Do you source it with um, bigger companies? Um, bumibili ka ba dun sa fair trade prices? Or binabarat mo ng sobra-sobra itong mga farmers na to? Okay? Um, a lot of um, smaller entrepreneurs, smaller businesses, smaller enterprises, ang ginagawa nila, they go directly to the farmers, they go directly to these um, suppliers, at sa kanila mismo binibili. Okay? Kasi the moment na meron ng middleman, meron ng mga uh, um, people in between pa, okay? bukod pa dun sa middleman, nakausap mo, may middleman pa rin siya, tapos may middleman pa yun. Okay? Dumadami yung binabayaran mo as an enterprise, pero yung mismo binibilhan mo talaga, okay? nalulugi dahil dun. Okay? Uh, bigas, for example, yan. Isa yun dun sa mga bagay, gulay, bigas, anything agriculture actually, uh, nababarat yan sa mga farmers natin. So, understanding the socio-economic impact, um, the social implications that it, um, that it could bring just because of the decisions that are made para lang makasave ka ng couple of pesos para dyan sa um, binibili mo talaga maraming maapektuhan. Okay? Social impact is one of the three pillars of sustainable business, okay? But it can be very difficult to define and even more difficult to track and to measure. So a lot of people, a lot of enterprises um, are having a hard time. Paano ba natin gagawing sustainable to? Paano ba natin mas magagawang um, akma yung mga businesses that we are doing in order for us to solve a, a good social problem? So... A lot of them, um, nagsisimula smaller, okay? Meron naman na the moment that they started their companies, talagang um, yun na yung problem na gusto nilang solusyonan. One of the companies that I'm talking about is Tom, okay? Uh, I hope you're familiar with Tom Shoes, okay? Um, I don't own one, actually, but um, I've heard their um, campaigns and I've heard Uh, of the good things that they've done with their brand, with their company. But uh, I'm just not a fan, you know, dun sa style na and all. But um, the type of things na ginagawa nila is really mind-blowing. Okay? Tom Shoes is an example of a company making a commitment to maximize its social impact. Now, how? Okay? In 2006, Blake Makowski, founder of... Uh, Uh, founder of Tom Shoes, with the singular mission of improving the lives of children by providing shoes to those in need. Now, how did they um, come up with this idea? Okay? In South Africa and Argentina, there are a lot of children that are in poverty. Okay? 
maraming mga third world country na talagang um, kahit naman dito sa Pilipinas, okay, marami naghihirap. And uh, up until now, marami at dumadami pa lalo yung mga nahihirapan at nahihirap ng mga tao. And one of the things that uh, Tom Shoes was able to point out was that they need to have sustainable business. Okay? And um, it was both a win, um, good and a bad thing, a bad decision for their company kasi um, good because it created a lot of social impact talaga. Um, every time that they make a sale for a pair of shoes, meron din silang ina a lot para dun sa people in Africa, South Africa and Argentina. Um, but at the same time, marami rin yun nag-question dun sa mga decisions nila bakit sapatos yung binibigay mo Uh, mahirap na nga sila, hindi naman nila kailangan yan, hindi makakain, blah, blah, blah. You know, a lot of people will bash pa rin. Okay? Maraming pa rin magsasabi ng negativity uh, dun sa mga magagandang gagawin ninyo. But the least that they could do was offer this kind of uh, campaign. Okay? And un- until now, okay, ginagawa pa rin nila. They've been consistent throughout uh, the years and um, continuously nag-grow naman yung company nila. Now, They did not um, stop there. Okay, na bawat benta namin may bibigay kami dun sa mga bata. Hindi lang sila huminto dun. Um, another thing that they looked at was um, sourcing, the raw materials that they use para dun sa mga sapatos na ginagawa nila. They plan to um, make everything cotton, sustainable cotton by 2025, 100% sustainable cotton by 2025. And um, they plan to source this in different parts of the world also, wherein um, hindi, siya, hindi siya yung binarat lang na mga prices just to cut down the taxes or other fees para din sa mga um, sapatos nila. At the same time, um, they were one of the companies that were able to um, have um, or they were able to reduce their carbon footprint. Okay? Um, their carbon footprint itself improved um, very um, well throughout the years. Talagang paliit ng paliit yung mga carbon footprint nila because of um, how they operate, how they source um, their materials. Doon pa lang minimize na nila. Um, Doon pa lang sa mismong paggawa ng mga sapatos, minimize na rin nila. And then um, they continued to, to look at sustainable resources and raw materials for their brand. Okay, so factories are often or um, are always monitored by uh, by Tom's and uh, third party independent auditors. So it helps them um, have an understanding kung meron mga lapses, may mga gaps na kailangan is fill out and kailangan um, solusyonan. Nakikita nila agad yun. Okay, this is um, the kind of story that I was telling a while ago. Um, Tom's shoes are sold online and in retail and retail locations around the world with the promise that for each pair of shoes, okay, Tom's will donate a second pair to a child in need in Argentina, South Africa, and other locations around the world. Okay, It was their mission that um, lahat ng mga tao, lahat ng mga stakeholders na meron sila in their company, even the customers, can actually contribute in the success of their projects or their campaigns. So it was... Um, this continuously um, have a very great social impact. Uh, maganda talaga yung uh, ginagawa nila when it comes to environment, helping out others, keeping it sustainable. Okay? Kasi, as I've mentioned, when you talk about sustainability, sustainability isn't just about um, recycling or upcycling a certain product, but it's also about how you can make um, others benefit from the project or from the enterprise na ginagawa mo. Okay? Um, another example would be, I hope you're familiar with um, Corina Sanchez. Okay? Um, she had this segment before, uh, Serrated Gay. Okay? Uh, meron siyang segment before, Serrated Gay, kung saan namimigay siya ng mga chinelas. Okay? Para dun sa mga, um, mga bundok, dun sa mga uh, binibisita nila ng mga sitio, mga barrio. Okay, uh, bumibisita sila, umaakit sila ng mga bundok um, to meet other people, to reach these people. At the same time, um, she gives away a pair of slippers to these people kasi sa probinsya, 
Visayas, sa probinsya kasi, uh, malalayo yung mga lugar talaga doon. Unlike here, um, sa Manila na dikit-dikit yung mga places, dikit-dikit yung mga lugar, kaya nga din binobble tayo eh. Kaya kami binobble dito. Okay? I'm not sure if you're in provinces or you're in Metro Manila. Pero yun, kaya nga nakabubble na ngayon yung Metro Manila kasi nga dikit-dikit yung mga tao, dikit-dikit yung mga places. Okay? At the same time, okay, um, yung mga tao kasi doon, um, talagang continuously gagamitin lang nila yung isang bagay up until masira na sila. Um, these people don't have the capacity to buy new footwear. And um, she had this um, amazing idea na, o oh, sige, uh, magbibigay kami ng mga chanelas dito sa mga taong to. Um, uh, kasi sila yung mga pwede mga kids na nag-aaral sa malalayong school and for them to reach that school, kilong, kilometro talaga yung mga nila, nilalakad nila. And those are part of the things na sa tingin ko um, that has very great social impact. Um, hindi siya yung tipo nagbigay ka lang ng canned goods tapos okay na. Okay? I mean, I, I, I have nothing against those things na magdodonate ka, magkaharin ka ng mga charitable works. Um, I have nothing against that. But um, that particular idea na you're not just looking for, for a thing that um, people would, would eat tapos, um, tapos na sila, busog na sila, and then what? Okay? Uh, after that, um, they need to work, they need to go some places para makapag-aral, makapag-trabaho. And um, they were able to point out that particular um, case uh, dun sa mga batang yun or dun sa mga um, communities na pinuntahan nila. And that's just amazing. Kasi, yun nga, ka, kung ako naman, hindi ko naman yun may isip eh. Pero sila, naisip nila na, sige, mamigay sila ng chinelas para mas marating nila mas malalayang lugar. So, that's good. Okay? So, um, another um, brand, uh, a known brand that we know of is Uniqlo. Okay? Uniqlo, naungusan niya na si Zara when it comes to fast fashion. Um, hindi na si Zara ngayon yung number one. It's already Uniqlo because uh, this brand has been dominating kahit na pandemic, hindi siya nagpatigil talaga, hindi nagpapatingin si Uniqlo. And they've been releasing a lot of sustainable clothing, a lot of sustainable materials also na in-upcycle nila and uh, ginagawa nila ng paraan. One of their upcycling projects before was this one. They would be providing a bin or parang basket dun sa mga locations nila, uh, store locations nila in different malls. And then, um, you would be able to drop off a couple of shirts, um, shorts, or any type of clothing na hindi mo na ginagamit tapos i-drop mo lang dun. Ngayon sila, they would be upcycling this and turning them into bucket hats and into um, tote bags. So, um, I don't think that they're still doing this one, pero ngayon mas nag-transform na sila yung, yung clothing materials nila mismo. Um, Tune change nila into um, a more sustainable um, material na yung ginagamit nila. Even Levi's, they have pants that are called waterless. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uh, in-encourage nila okay, na huwag mo masyadong labhan yung mismo jeans na yun. Kasi that particular pair of jeans, okay, um, the fabric itself, the material itself is made na uh, hindi siya dapat um, nilalabhan ng madalas. Okay? Para mas, mag, mas magamit mo siya na mas maganda, mas maayos, um, hindi mo siya dapat masyado nilalabhan. And um, I don't think, um, hindi naman siya yung tipong one month mo ng suot, di ba? Hindi naman ganun. Pero uh, it, it is a good campaign for, for Levi's also. Okay? Now, Social impacts um, is where the proponents, you guys, must state uh, their plans on how to improve the life of the people who live in their immediate communities. They must also identify how the business will create a better society. So it is through your socioeconomic plan that I would be able to understand kung ano yung mga social implications ng ginagawa ng mismo enterprise na uh, kapartner ninyo. At the same time, we would be um, highlighting their economic implications also. So it discusses the contributions of the business to the general economy. So um, kung kanina, social problems yung uh, tinitry isolve ng ating mga enterprises. Now, we need to look at the 
um, economic implications na ngayon. So it may include discussing about the effects of the business um, when it comes to taxes, social services, prices, local suppliers, and business competition. Now, is it a healthy competition? Um, masyado na bang um, tawag dito, congested yung market? Um, nagiging, dahil ba dun sa mga business na nag emerge dyan, dumadami ba ngayon yung mga tao that is actually good when it comes to transactions? Umiikot ba yung pera dun sa lugar? So, isa yan din sa mga possible na tignan ninyo uh, when you talk about economic implications. Okay? Um, you have to note that it is always better to make sure that you quantify the benefits that would be contributed by the business itself. So, how much taxes, um, how many jobs are you providing, um, gano kadami yung mga tao na affect ninyo. So, quantify everything para mas madali nyo din siya ma-interpret when it comes to uh, economic implications. Okay? So, lastly, lastly, we have right here is how does the business make a socio-economic impact? So, ito yung pinaka-tinatanong natin na when we are trying to write down our socio-economic plan. Okay? How does the business make a socio-economic impact um, sa society nila, dun sa community na kinagagalawa nila, dun sa probinsya na kinagagalawa nila, sa buong Pilipinas? Paano ngayon sila nakaka-apekto? Nakaka-contribute ba sila when it comes to employment rate? Nakaka-improve ba sila when it comes to paying taxes? sa taxes na um, binibigay nila. Um, malaki ba yung nagiging effect nila, market share na meron sila doon sa lugar or hindi? So, um, I won't be able to understand this if you won't be able to understand the business na kapartner ninyo. So, it's up to you guys talaga kung paano nyo i-interpret lahat ng mga information, yung mga data, paano nyo siya kukunin dun sa mga enterprise, uh, dun sa mga partner enterprises ninyo. Based from your observations, based from the interviews that you've done, um, what are the socioeconomic, uh, socioeconomic impacts that they have when it comes to their community? Okay? Okay. So, do I have questions? Okay. Sabi sa inyo, maikli lang talaga yung ating discussion for the day. Um, konti lang yung um, kinakailangan natin talaga kasundin sa kanya since majority or the template itself will come from your best art teacher. So, um, I'm just here to give you some add-ons or kung ano yung mga um, ine-expect ko din naman na parang um, uh, malaman ninyo when it comes to social economic impact. So, do I have questions? Questions? Saan po makikita? Uh, I-upload ko. Actually, i-upload ko yung mga PowerPoints. Lahat ng PowerPoints uh, by the end of this week sa inyong Blackboard. But I've already uploaded the uh, recorded sessions. Okay. How about the other questions? Wala naman ako nakalimutan na um, i-inform sa inyo. Kasi um, yun nga, the deadline for the draft would be um, right after you return from Holy Week, dapat tapos na siya. So, um, ang pasahan ng draft ninyo, I think that's... Wait lang. So, if our um, Holy Week would end on April 6, ang inyong pasahan would be on... April 6, ang inyong magiging pasahan. Okay? So, um, since that would be your asynchronous class, um, on that particular week, kailangan makapagpasa na kayo ng inyong um, draft. So, before pa kayo magpasa, pwede naman kayong magpacheck sa akin ng inyong mga um, papers. Pwede rin naman kayong mag-inquire um, ng um, mga tanong ninyo, clarifications sa gusto nyong gawin. Um, dun sa mga plans ninyo para hindi rin kayo mahirapan um, dun sa ginagawa ninyong pagsusulat. Kasi I know that some of you uh, may be asking questions tapos meron naman sa inyo na hindi pa, hindi pa talaga nakakapagtanong. So by April 6, um, kayo magpapasa and that's a um, couple of weeks pa from now. Okay, so I think you have two weeks left. Tama ba? And 
part of your draft would be chapters one to five. Okay. Other question. Ma'am. Yes. A uh, question lang po, ma'am. Regarding the financial plan, yun po ba yung next topic natin after uh, the Easter break po? Yes. Uh, after ng Easter break, nandun na tayo sa financial plan. Tapos, I would be allotting one session na magbe-breakout lang tayo. Breakout, uh, uh, breakout session lang tayo kung saan um, magko-consultation lang ako sa inyo. Talaga. So that um, matutukan natin yung pagsulat ng inyong mga business plan. Uh, noted, ma'am. Uh, regarding Thank po pala you. sa financial plan, uh, would you be providing us with a sample po, ma'am? Uh, sa, sa mismo ano, discussion, sa mismo discussion natin. Kuli pa okay. naman yun na ipapasa. Noted, ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you. How about the others? Do you have questions, clarifications? Ma'am? Hmm. Yung graph na po yung quiz namin po, di ba? Yeah. Yes. Okay, kasi I think that you have your, you had your LEAP, tama ba? Yung LEAP uh, seminar, tama ba? Umatenda man kayo doon. Umatenda yes. kayo doon sa seminar nyo during your senior high school week. And I think some uh, some teachers would be incorporating that as part of your quizzes. But as I've mentioned, um, hindi na kasi ako magpapakuiz. And I'd like you guys to focus on the output talaga when it comes to your business plans. Because I had troubles um, last last time na nag-check ako sa inyo that you guys really excel when it comes to creative stuff. Pero um, yung pagsusulat mismo na, let's say, um, composing your ideas and then the flow of your ideas for me to understand it, um, minsan hindi talaga, hindi talaga siya nagko-connect. So um, I'd like you guys to focus more on that one, which is why, yes, you will have your quiz as part of your, um, your draft would be your first written work. Okay? Your second written work is actually your peer evaluation, the your um, PETA is the entire business plan, and then that's it. Okay? Kasi again, we are trying to focus everything dun sa inyong business plan. Para hindi na kayo paligoy-ligoy, hindi na marami yung um, kinakailangan nyo. So yung mismong um, parang exam, uh, sa exam na talaga siya. Okay? Uh, hindi ko na kayo, uh, hindi ko kayo, uh, bibigyan ng quiz pa or assessment uh, regarding the lessons that we have. Um, as long as I see that you were able to write down your ideas on your business plan well, okay, it gives me this um, impression also that you were able to understand the lesson. Question? Um, yes. Um, regarding po sa draft, pwede po mag check or consult po bukas ka. So, pwede po ba if ever earlier time? Kasi may asynchronous daw po ata kami bukas ng 1 hanggang 40 po ata dun sa ah, isa namin okay, okay. subject. Okay. Sige, okay lang naman. Anong, what time am I expecting you? So that I can ano have po? it scheduled also. Actually, hindi naman po yung mismo pinakaano. Parang ipapakonsult lang po yung content if na na nakaalam po kami na kaya nito or if pa de na live po para din po mga ten po ba available po ba kayo ten am okay sige okay po para lang po mapacheck kyo mismo pinakakante thank you po thank you remind me tomorrow ah if ever if I if I ever forgot it but I read it down already yes ani yon chat ka na lang po sa GC Okay. Ma'am, baka mag-email na lang din po kami ng docs. Tapos kayo na lang po bahala kung kailan po kayo available mag-comment. Okay. Sige. Kung kukomentan ko lang naman, I can do it later or probably tomorrow morning. Pwede ka naman gawin yun. Um, make sure that you provide me uh, the link na makikita nyo yung mga comments. Ha? Kasi sometimes I do encounter na 
kapag sa docs ako naglalagay ng mga comments ko, um, sometimes hindi niya nakikita yung um, uh, yung mismong comments that I've made in the document itself. So, you have to make sure also na yung shareable link na ibibigay niyo sa akin is um, pwede. Pwede ako mag-provide uh, talaga ng mga comments ko doon. Okay? Sige po, ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you. Okay. Pa-email na lang siya sa akin. How about the others? We have questions. Other groups, clarifications, yung mga tanong. Wala. Clear? Clear uh, lahat? Yes. Uh, regarding po sa social economic plan, if ever po na a we'd like to ask for comments po. Will you be providing comments on that po or totally sa best our subject area po namin siya ipapa consult with? I could help. Okay, I could help when it comes to giving out my insights uh, dun sa mga um, isusulat niya sa mismo socioeconomic plan. But the thing is, I'm not gonna grade that part eh. Okay, I'm not gonna grade that part. So I think that it would be best na um, kung ano yung mismong format, ano yung mismong mga hinahanap ng best art teacher ninyo, yung makita din niya. Kasi baka mamaya, um, like um, how it flowed from from the entire business plan and then yung socioeconomic plan ninyo, nakita ko naman na may, may flow siya na tama and maayos. But there are some instances na parang since it's part of um, subject nila na mas focused din doon, Okay, uh, mas, mas deep din yung kailangan nila na, na context ng mga understanding na dapat may apply doon. But uh, I could give you insight also din naman. Noted, ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Others? May mga tanong ma ba? Ma'am? Yes, Lana. Yung sa financial po, pwede po ba namin malaman if Ano po basically yung need namin from the enterprise? Kasi baka po mamaya busy na po sila pagka-discuss, like pagka-april. Okay, you will be creating, um, I think you will be creating a projection. Um, you will also need their um, cash flows. You should uh, be also needing their um, income statement. So kahit yung mga simple um expenses nila, okay, uh, yung mga income na nakukuha nila ng business, um, kailangan lang meron kayo kahit siguro one month worth ng kanilang income statement. At the same time kasi, your projections will be based on the plans that you have for the business. So, um, based dun sa mga plano na i-apply ninyo, based on the recommendations that you want to do when it comes to these businesses, paano ma-affect ngayon yung financial forecast ninyo? Knowing that this is the average na kinikita nila. This is the average na nagigain ng mismo negosyo. So, paano ngayon makaka-apekto yung mga plans, yung mga recommended plans ninyo dun sa finances nila? That's why we would be needing your projections also. But um, I think that kahit isang month or two months worth of their um, income statements, I'm not gonna need their um, balance sheet. I would also be needing their cash flow. So, cash flow... Um, income statement projections. Basically, yun yung mga error require namin sa inyo. Bale, yung sa projections, po, clear ko lang po na kami na po yung gagawa ng base po dun sa mga binigay nilang data na kahit one month lang po. Ganun po. Mm -mm. So, uh, mag-base kayo dun sa data nila at the same time, dun sa recommendations na laman ng inyong business plan. Okay, so kung meron kayo mga improvements, so it would increase, let's say, the capacity of the the, the restaurant. Nag, um, plan ninyo na mag-expand as part of your campaign. Plan ninyo magkaroon ng more exposure so it would yield more sales for the company. What would your projections look like? So yun, isa yun dun sa mga factors na titignan natin. Sige po, ma'am. Thank you pa. Thank you. What else? Other questions from the group? Other groups? 
Kung gusto rin magtanong, meron ba? Okay. So, um, since I don't have um, questions anymore, again, um, you may um, still do consultations with me up until Tuesday next week. Um, pero Wednesday onwards, since um, Easter break, uh, I would like to have a break also. Maka uh, hindi ko kayo sagutin dun sa mga um, tanong na meron kayo. So, you have to make sure that before the weekend, um, kung as much as possible, um, i-provide nyo na sa akin yung mga tanong ninyo so that I could answer them quickly uh, at magamit ninyo yung information uh, para din sa mga sinusulat ninyong business plan. Okay? Okay. So, I'll leave you guys uh, for today. I will be uploading this uh, session later on. Um, I would be uploading the rest of the PowerPoints also um, at the end of the week. So, good luck and I'll see you. Okay? Goodbye, class. Bye, mom. Thank you, Paul. Bye, mom. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Bye, mom. Thank you. Bye, mom. Thank you, Paul. 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 Bye, mom. Thank you, Paul.